4.30. The Better Business Bureau is warning customers who are thinking of hiring somebody to put up their Christmas lights to beware of scams. All right, the BBB has received complaints from several local people who have paid for the service but then left in the cold. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling has this consumer alert. If you can picture it, the roof of this Ridgefield home was once covered with 400 twinkling lights. The problem, according to the homeowner, the men who put them up never took them down. Probably eight boxes, so it's over 400 lights. It's 50 in a box. Homeowner Jeff Lightburn is feeling a bit burnt. And again, it was just a string. From a Christmas light display that lingered for too long. The nature of the roof is steep. Because he can no longer do it himself, he hired All Fix's handyman to put up the lights and take them down. They came out, put them up, and then they never saw them again. But by February, after repeated phone calls and messages, no sign that the second half of the job would be completed. I wanted to keep it simple. Lightburn had to pay another $100 to have someone else remove the lights. So that was $400 to put up my lights and take them down. And the added hassle. And the added hassle. The BBB tried to reach out to that company, but got no response. I wondered if we could talk to someone there about a customer that had a complaint. So we called All Fix's handyman to ask why. You know, the bad reviews from customers is from the previous owner. And we just took over. The Better Business Bureau says it's worth a warning to the public to be cautious about who you hire for your light displays. Problem is a lot of those people are not licensed, so they may not use the proper light bulbs. They may not use the proper uh, plugs. All the way across the front. The organization also advises getting the agreement in writing and paying for half of the job up front, then paying for the other half when it's complete. If you have to have someone else come out and take them down, well, then, then that's fine. Then you pay that. But I ended up paying twice. And we'll put a link to the BBB's website if you want to complain about a light display gone astray. And coming up at 5.30, we'll also talk to the new owner of that business to see how they can make this customer whole again. Reporting from Ridgefield, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.